welcome to today's video. I am so excited about today's video because it's my favorite video of the month to film. It is my favorites video. Today we're gonna to be talking about all the products, beauty and fashion that I've discovered and been loving in the month of January. I am particularly excited about today's video because it is a collaboration video with someone that I am so excited to introduce and share with you all. Her name is Kate and her channel here on YouTube is called Kate the Great. Um, and I discovered Kate a few months ago. I actually asked in our Beauty Chit Chat Facebook group page for channels that people loved. And I had a really great thread of tons of channel recommendations. And, and for some reason, I stopped on a comment that said, Kate the Great, she's hilarious. I think they said in her video that she always starts her video with a glass of wine or a cocktail or something that was kind of her thing. So I thought, that sounds interesting. Let me go check her out. And I was laughing within the first 30 seconds of watching her video. She is extremely entertaining and so funny and adorable. Um, as I've gotten to know Kate a little bit better and kind of stalked her Instagram, seriously, I stalked her Instagram the first week that I like discovered her. I was like, you know, when you like open Instagram and you see like, you know, all the like one person's liked 50 of your photos from like a week ago to six months ago photos, that was me. And um, sh I discovered that she's also a freelance makeup artist. So she lives in New York City. She's an actress, which makes total sense for why she's so entertaining to watch. Um, she does really beautiful makeup tutorials. She is stunning. She has like, I'm pretty sure the most perfect skin on YouTube. I just love watching her and I can promise you, I feel like if there's anything in this video that I'm gonna recommend to you that you're gonna love, it's her channel. So definitely go check her out. I will leave her January favorites video linked down below as well as her channel to subscribe to her. If you go over there, tell her that I sent you, tell her that I said hi, I promise you're gonna adore her and love her. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the products that I am loving for the month of January. I have, definitely this video is far more beauty than fashion. I do have a few fashion pieces as always. Um, I have uh, several drugstore uh, products that I'm really excited to share with you, so let's dive in. Okay, let's start with the drugstore products because I am always most excited to share those. Uh, the first is this mascara by uh, L'Oreal. It's the Unlimited Mascara. And I used this and talked about it in my recent drugstore tutorial that actually just went up yesterday. But by the time you guys see this video, it would have been about a week. This is a wonderful mascara, you guys. Um, it is new. It was on the NCAP cap at Ulta when I was there shopping the other week. I hadn't heard much about it and I'm so glad I picked it up. It is a really, really great lengthening and volumizing mascara, but what really makes this special, which I didn't even discover until after I filmed that video, is the handle. So you can hold the handle like so and apply your top lashes. Um, I have lash strips on today, by the way. This is not the mascara. And then you can also twist the handle like so to get a better angle at your lower lashes. So I think that's really neat. I haven't seen a mascara that has this type of feature in the handle. I like the uh, brush that it comes with. You, it does a really great job of coating each lash. I wouldn't say that it's an extremely separating mascara. I wouldn't say it's clumpy either, but it definitely gives good volume um, and length, but I wouldn't say that it's one that's really gonna separate each lash, if that makes sense. It does a great job of grabbing each lash. It kind of gives a curled and lifted effect. When I applied this, and you can see it if you watch my drugstore uh, tutorial, you'll see that it actually did lift and curl my lashes and I didn't use a lash curler. So I really, really like it. I feel like uh, L'Oreal really knocks it out of the park with mascaras. My other favorite drugstore mascara is the Lash Paradise. Um, the only complaint I have about that one is it gets clumpy really quickly. Like I feel like after three weeks, I gotta toss it and get a new one. I have only had this for about two weeks, so, and we're not there yet. So hopefully this one doesn't have that same problem, but I really like it, highly recommend it if you haven't tried it. It is the Unlimited Mascara. In that same trip, I also picked up the Revlon Candid Concealer and Foundation, and I thought this was a lot newer than it is. It turns out this came out um, third quarter or so, late summer last year, somewhere around August, September. Uh, I was in Ulta looking for the new L'Oreal foundation, but my Ulta didn't have it. I actually just ordered that, so stay tuned for a video on that soon. But I picked this up, and I love it, you guys. This is such a fantastic drugstore foundation and concealer combo. This I also talked about in my drugstore tutorial that we'll have linked down below if you wanna see it applied and kind of the wear of this. I still am gonna do a dedicated foundation review and concealer review on this, so stay tuned for that. But what I love about this is I really feel like this is a great foundation for um, more mature skin. It's not heavy at all. It gives pretty good coverage. It is buildable. It looks really natural on the skin. It doesn't have a matte flat finish and it's not overly um, glowy or radiant. It really does have the look of natural skin 
skin that is hydrated. It looks like you have flawless, perfect skin and you've just applied moisturizer. And if you can imagine what the skin looks like right after you apply moisturizer, it has just this really pretty healthy glow without any like um, iridescence or pearlescence. That's what this looks like. The concealer is really lightweight. Um, I, the, when I first applied this in my video, it, I didn't like the way it applied. I kind of had to like kind of mix, mix it up a little bit with the wand, but it comes with a wand like so. I have the shade uh, Bisque in the concealer, and then I have the shade Chai in the foundation. When I bought this, my um, store was very limited on shades. I probably would have gotten a shade, um, a different shade, but this actually works. It blends in. I find it very forgiving. That's what else I also like about this, is I find that it just really blends into the skin very nicely. This works for me. I certainly could have used probably a shade lighter than this as well. Um, but it's a really, really, really nice, beautiful, medium coverage, buildable foundation for all skin types, but specifically more mature or textured skin. It makes the skin looks very hydrated. All right, since we're talking about foundations, the Face and Body MAC, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should, I have my link down below. I always share um, kind of in the moment makeup products that I'm loving or tips that I am excited to share that I just discovered. And I have been using the heck out of this guy this month. This is a foundation that has been around for a long, long time. I have used this foundation off and on for 15 years. It is uh, Face and Body by MAC. It is a face and body makeup. It's very, very, very trans, not translucent, but it's very, light. Um, it almost has like a water light consistency. As you can see, it just kind of drips down the hand. Very sheer coverage, but I like to use this as a mixing medium. So um, it's been, the weather's been a little funky. It's cold one day and dry, and then it's like in the 70s the next day. And so my skin's kind of like trying to figure out what to do. Now, when I wear full coverage foundations in drier months, it looks like I've kind of sucked all the moisture out of my skin. So what I'll do is I'll mix this with a full coverage foundation, like the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation, and it just gives it a more natural skin-like look um, and it avoids that like cakey, cracky look that full coverage foundations can sometimes give. Um, you guys know I love Too Faced Peach Perfect. I'm not saying that that foundation is cakey or cracky, but what I'm saying is when it's cold and dry and you know 30 degrees and your skin is lacking moisture, any full coverage foundation can look pretty heavy or dry. And this kind of does a nice job of um, compensating for that. You can wear this alone. It's very sheer and natural, but I really, really like mixing it with other foundations just to create the most perfect foundation cocktail. The next product is what I have on my nails. I get so many questions about my nail polish, you guys. Um, this is by the brand Kiera Sky, and it's actually a dip powder. If you're not familiar with dip, it's essentially like a colored acrylic powder. So I actually take this to the nail salon and have them use this, and they just dip my nail in here and do my manicure. Um, I, my hairstylist actually does her own dip at home. Um, it seems like it would be very time intensive. Uh, they do also sell this in a gel polish, so I will link both. I will link the dip powder if you want to buy it and take it to your salon and also the gel which I guess you could take to your salon as well. I didn't haven't found this in a regular nail polish but I will try and see if I can find that as well. It is the shade Chit Chat. So D524 Chit Chat is the name of the shade. This is what it looks like. It's just a really pretty like pinky white shade. The Glossier Boy Brow. I got this for Christmas and I love this brow gel. It is everything that I have heard it would be. This product was so high up and raved about for so long. And um, I don't know why I hadn't purchased it before, but I really, really like this brow gel. I really love a good brow gel that has a very small uh, wand like this. Something that can really uh, get into the brows and add precision and detail. I don't like it when the brow gel brushes are too big. Uh, I like this because it does give some volume to the brows, so I can wear this by itself and I don't feel like I have to apply a pencil along with it. Um, I have the shade brown and it's slightly dark. It works for me, but I think I might even be able to use a lighter shade if I wanted to mix that with like a dark brown pencil or something. But I really like this a lot. I think it's a really great product and definitely worth all the hype that it has gotten. Another drugstore find that was in my drugstore tutorial is the Velvet Foil Cream Shadows by Alme. And I have the shade Golden Vibes. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is essentially a like a highly shimmer foiled cream eyeshadow. So it comes in a little squeeze tube and 
It reminds me of, um, I know lots of brands have products like this, but when, you know, I'm an old school matte girl and we used to have these products called paints, MAC paints, and this is what it reminds me of, but it's essentially a cream eyeshadow. If you want to wear shimmer on the eyes, but you are concerned about texture, um, I think a cream shadow is the way to go because it just is more forgiving on the skin and it just becomes like one with the skin versus a metallic or foiled powder product. Uh, but this is a really beautiful color. As you can see, it almost looks like my skin tone with just a high sheen to it. They have other shades available. I thought this was the most neutral one that I could wear kind of daily. And I really like it. It has great wearability. It's very sheer in, in the sense that it's not like a thick product that um, kind of cracks when it dries. I use my finger to apply it. I think it's way better than using a brush. Um, I definitely plan to pick up more colors in this. They had a really pretty rich bronze shade and then they had like a purpley reddish shade that I thought would be really pretty. But these are a really, really great um, cream shadows. The lipstick that I have on my lips has become a favorite of mine. I've been wearing it nonstop on repeat. It's by Bare Minerals and the shade is called Tease and it's just a really pretty peachy pink. I have it swatched here on my hand. You guys know peachy pink is kind of my signature shade for the lips. It definitely leans a bit more peachy than pink, although it has quite a bit of pink to it, but I would definitely say it's more of a peachy shade. Um, very creamy, very pigmented. It feels very nice on the lips. It has pretty good wearability. It's not a matte lipstick, so of course you're gonna have to reapply after eating or drinking a lot, but I think it's a really pretty color that just brightens up the face. I feel like we're kind of approaching spring are we I don't know I feel I don't know I'm in the mood to wear spring like makeup and I feel like this is just a really youthful bright color on the lips and I love this color um, so yeah this is definitely a favorite I am still loving this gloss I know I talked about it in my favorites last month but I'm still loving it it's the vitality lip fusion by it cosmetics this is the shade uh, pretty in pink and I don't know why I had to look at that like I didn't know. I've been talking about this tons. I love the formula of these glosses. They are super, super shiny and thick, but not sticky. They have the most slightest iridescent. So not only is that wet like texture going to make the, gloss, the lips look really glossy, but that really refined shimmer is also going to add a lot of volume to the lips, make the lips look really full um, and glossy. And I love the formula. It just feels so nice. I've been obsessed with this um, formula. So highly recommend this if you have not tried this formula. This mask by Colleen Rothschild, I wanted to share with you guys in this video. I've used it twice this month. Um, it's not a product that you wanna use every single day, but it's the Pomegranate and AHA Resurfacing Mask. And I love this. If you are looking for a product to really brighten the skin, exfoliate the skin, really give you the, that instant kind of glow to the skin after one use, this is one of those products. Um, I don't know that I would recommend it for sensitive skin though, however. Uh, this is what it looks like, it smells smells like a pomegranate. It smells amazing. It smells so, so good. You basically apply this on the skin. It comes with a little brush. You let it sit for like 10 minutes and then you rinse it off. How often do they recommend doing this? I've only done it twice. Um, maybe applied one to two times per week. So this is loaded with alpha hydroxy acid and fruit enzymes. Um, your skin can be very sensitive to sunlight after you use this. So definitely apply it and load up on the SPF if you expose it to sun after. Um, I will say, I was, when I first applied this, I wasn't expecting, I didn't know what to expect. And it definitely had a sensation that I don't know how sensitive skin would re respond to. I don't have sensitive skin, so I can't speak on that, but it didn't burn, it wasn't painful at all, but it definitely was one of those products that I was like, hmm, okay, maybe not for sensitive skin. I've used this twice. It says you can use it one to two times per week. Um, I'm gonna try and use this once a week because I do think that it, it with continued use, it's just gonna continue to keep the skin bright bright and radiant um, and help exfoliate the skin. So I really, really like this product and wanted to share with you guys. I have two pairs of shoes to share with you. I picked these up on my Dallas birthday trip. I picked up these Steve Madden loafers and I love them. They run a little bit large. I got a size six and a half. I normally wear seven. However, I did have to have Nordstrom stretch them out because the six and a halfs were very tight around my toes and I have a wider foot. If you have narrow foot, you're probably be fine. So I tried to size up to the seven, but they were way too big. They were falling off. So I got a six and a half and then I just had them stretch them out. I really love these. I didn't have a pair of leopard uh, loafers and I just think they're just such an easy shoe to elevate an outfit. You wear all black, throw on leopard, it's a little bit more stylish. You have jeans and a cream sweater, throw on leopard, a bit more stylish. I just feel like it's one of those pieces that is easy and wearable with almost anything you have in your closet and it just adds a notch up to your look. Um, I forget what 
I paid for these. I want to say they were under $100. They're pretty comfortable. Um, they're not uncomfortable at all, but they're not like you're wearing a tennis shoe. Um, but I really like these. I've been wearing these a ton, and they're definitely a shoe that you can wear pretty much all year round. I also got the, these shoes on my birthday trip. These are by the brand Halogen, and I love them. Here in Texas, it's uh, on and off cold, but we don't have like long periods of cold weather, so I don't really invest in a ton of booties or closed-toed shoes. And I like these because I can wear them now, but I can also wear them into spring and even into summer. Um, they're really cute. They have like this perforated leather here and then a peep toe. Um, they're super cute. I like the heel. I like that it's supported. Um, I don't really wear really skinny heels anymore. Um, I like that this gives you some height, but I still feel grounded <laughs> and I don't feel like I'm gonna fall over. I don't know what happened to me after I had kids, but I used to be a pro in high heels and forget it. <laughs> so this is where I compromise, but I really, really love these a lot. Uh, again, I think these were around the $100 mark and they came in a really pretty, I think they also came in a really pretty like nude color. Um, but unfortunately I had a pair similar to these in that color. Uh, I actually like these better, but I could couldn't bring myself to buy the nude ones like this because I have another pair that are almost identical, um, but the heel on those are shorter. Anyway, um, I'm getting off the subject here, but I really like these. These are very comfortable, easy to wear with jeans. You can wear with dresses. I feel they're uh, just a really easy shoe to throw on kind of with any outfit, whether you're dressed up or dressed down. Super cute. I'm gonna share with you a couple of Kendra Scott pieces. I have been on this Kendra Scott kick lately. Um, I'm gonna share these first because these are on sale and I checked today and they are still on sale. Hopefully they will still be on sale by the time this video goes up. But they are these hoops right here. Aren't they fun? So it has like this, this does not move. I know that that looks like it might move or swivel, but it does not. So they go on the ear, you know, just like this. These are on sale for like $49 right now. They come in rose gold and gold, and I think they come in silver. I have the gold. I've been meaning to buy the rose gold, but I just haven't yet because I also have these that I bought. Uh, I got these, if you are not familiar, Kendra Scott has this deal that uh, the month of your birthday, you can go in and get any piece of jewelry, excluding their fine jewelry for 50% off. So I got these at 50% off. Um, but they're rose gold hoops with kind of like these little, you know, stud diamonds in between them. Very lightweight. They come in uh, this size and then a larger size. Uh, I will link the size that I have here. And then I got these studs, which I love because I already have a pair of studs similar to these that you have seen, but the shape of this is kind of different and unique and fun. It has rose gold kind of plating around it. Um, I love these. I think these are really easy everyday uh, earrings to wear. I, I just wanted to share those with you guys. All right, you guys, that wraps up my favorite videos for January. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please go check out Kate the Great. I promise you will not regret it. You might want to make sure you have some time to watch her channel though, because it will be very hard to leave her videos once you see them. Thank you so much, Kate the Great, for uh, collabing with me on this video. This was so fun, and I have enjoyed getting to know her, um, and I look forward to following her on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!